Hi, Acadiana. It's April 6th, and here's a look at news making headlines today. Here in Lafayette, an update to a story we brought to you last week. A juvenile is in jail and facing an attempted first degree murder charge in connection to a shooting that happened last Thursday. That happening in the 100 block of MLK Drive. Police found the victim, who's also a juvenile, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. A heavy police presence was also at a home on Eras Landry in connection to that incident. We also have a proposal to toughen speeding penalties on the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge. Lafayette State Senator Paige Cortez authoring the bill. Under his plan, fines would be five times the current amount and eight sets of speed limit signs would be placed on each side of the bridge. The hope is to limit the number of speeding cars and trucks to hopefully reduce the number of crashes and often hours long closures. In other state news, Louisiana State Police suspending the Department of Public Safety attorney for allegedly telling colleagues about her part in an internal investigation involving the Ronald Green case. According to her attorney, her punishment is more than twice a 50 hour suspension state police gave to a trooper who was directly involved. Her attorney says, quote, they focused on her because she was one of the only non troopers on the panel End quote. A state police spokesperson denying that accusation, saying all members of the audit team were investigated equally following a probe into possible leaked body camera video that was leaked by someone on the team. Well, temperatures get up to about 86 degrees today. We're, we're cloudy and we're muggy, but we're very, very warm out there. A warm air mass sitting on top of us and we'll finally freshen up tonight. Those winds will turn. They'll be out of the northwest by the evening, picking up steam as well. 10, 15 miles an hour. So it's going to be a bit blustery overnight tonight. Gets cooler. We'll be down in the 40s for your low. Tomorrow we get to about 73. Chilly weather on the way or cooler weather, I guess I should say, for tomorrow and Friday. Warming up a little bit by the time we get to the weekend. Plenty of sunshine taking us through the week and into the weekend.